Alright everyone, you know what time it is. We just finished watching Robots from the Sky Part 3. It's now time for me to tell you what I liked, what I didn't like, and then I'm gonna give it a score. So starting with what I didn't like, um... Let me see. Actually, the things I said about the last two parts, Part 1 being, um... Part 1 was okay. Part 2 was kind of dull. Nothing really happened. Part 3 really did a good job of kind of nullifying my complaints about the last two episodes. There was enough plot progression, there was a lot of action, and the action was actually good this time because we finally get to see the villagers get an upgrade. I mean, we got to see them participate in a battle for once instead of just running around being, uh, you know, idiots. They're still idiots, but at least they were useful idiots this time. So, I don't know. It's It was a pretty decent episode. I can't really think of anything really off the top of my head that I didn't particularly like. Everything really kind of came together. In fact, this could have been the end of this uh, Robots from the Sky part. Like, all of this could have been the end right here. Because um, it kind of tied itself up well, and I guess the cliffhanger could have led to newer episodes. Um, that being said, I, I, I was kind of hoping, this is just a nitpick, really. This is something I didn't like, but this is a nitpick more so than it is actually an actual negative. I would have preferred it if it had been Metal Sonic or... Let me see... Because... No, no, I mean Metal Sonic would have been nice, but he doesn't really have malware, like, things attached to him unless he could have in this canon. Like, this was a nice twist, because honestly, who would have seen that Hypnobot would have come back, for, of all things, of all the callbacks to have. I honestly forgot about Hypnobot. I mean, I remember he existed, but I didn't... Like, I don't even remember his name, I didn't remember his powers. And yeah, he did get destroyed at the end of the episode. Um, yeah, he came back with a vengeance. And all things considered, it does kind of make sense when you think about it with Part 1, how Tails was specifically targeted. Well, at least it seemed like it. Um, yeah, that was pretty decent. On to things I did like. This may be complete coincidence, but it seemed like Hypnobot's backstory of why he became evil was a callback to the Dragon Ball Z non-canon movie, uh, Return of Cooler, I think it's called. Uh, Frieza's brother. This is the one where Frieza's brother is a floating, like, floating in space. Like, I think a piece of him is DNA. He gets attached to some technology. I forget what it was. It was very convoluted, very weird. And he becomes part of this big Getty star. Like, he becomes a planet and starts, like, destroying Namek. And it's like, that movie was very strange but it, to me it felt like they were hinting at that because like somehow after he got destroyed by the black by the black the back flipping dog thing he wound up floating endlessly in space before he got picked wait was he in space Do, am i remembering that cutscene uh, that that background bit correctly huh if he was in space then it reminds me of that but if he was actually floating in the sky wait how did he get picked up from space if the Morristown is in the sky. I might be overthinking this, but yeah, that was a funny callback. If it was indeed a reference to that Dragon Ball Z thing. It may have been a reference to something else, but that's what I got out of it. Um, what else? Yeah, like I said earlier, I enjoyed the villagers getting some action in. I, got, I enjoy seeing Sonic and Tails uh, fighting and doing what they do together. It was really cool to see them bond like that. Um, also... Can we talk about how high the stakes were this time? It actually seemed, for the first time in a long time, there was actual danger. Hell, Sonic got injured, so... Oh, well, I guess... Yeah, he got injured. His leg is kind of busted now. I mean, he's still gonna be able to run and everything, but, you know. That's... that's, a uh, That's an injury we've never seen before. Uh... Anything else I can think of off the top of my head, what I did like about this episode? I'm running through it in my mind right now. I like that they kept Eggman out of this, like, there's really, I, when you really think about it, there's really nothing he probably could have done to help or make things worse, because, what, he attacks with his robots, without his robots, what's he got? Nothing. And I believe his machines were even being used down there, like the Octo, Octobot uh, machine and everything, his mechs and everything became sentient, I believe. So, keeping him out of it and then bringing him back for the cliffhanger, if you will, was a pretty good idea. I'm curious to where they're gonna go with part four because it seems like the issue has been more or less resolved. Morris, 
less this resolve that that was bad um it seems like i don't know where they could possibly go they plan on bringing hypno bot back with eggman as well as what was it steve i think his name was the robot that can transform into anything and possibly metal sonic if eggman still has him on unless metal sonic has just been completely shut down and canned uh, I have a feeling part 4 is going to be very interesting. Also, wait, I forgot one more thing I did like. Og showing back up. That was a nice callback. Um, yeah, we didn't see a couple of others. Buster never showed back up. Did Buster... Where did Buster go? We have not seen that guy in forever. And Amy's B-Bot. And Fiendbot, or Friendbot rather, just kind of left after he was done. I guess he's just going to go back to the uh, Q-Bot village, as will the Q-Bots. I don't know. I guess there is more to explore in part four. So that was a that was a rhyme if ever I've heard one. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, is there anything else? There might be a few other things I'm missing, but just off the top of my head, after just finishing watching the episode, that's pretty much what I wanted to go over. So I will give this episode, seeing as I like this more than part one and two, and I'm still withholding all judgment on all of these episodes until I see all four of them as a whole. Then I'll judge them completely but as part three by itself this is pretty good i will give this one a eight out of ten a good pass good good episode i like this one a lot but tell me what you guys thought of this one did you think this one was good average or let me know in the comments below hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the web reactions for more videos like this one if you haven't already um in the meantime we shall wait for part four with bated breath what will happen? I guess Morristown is kind of solved now. What will happen with Eggman's newest find in the ice? Find out next time, guys. Stay tuned. So, you return once again, Freezer. Cooler. Cooler. Yes, I have returned, dumbass. Goku. Dumbass. With the help of the Big Getty Star. <laughs>